Hello everybody, I'm Robin and these are my reflections. Today we're going to open up the Lovely Animals Oracle. This thing has been lost in the mail for some time now, <laughs> but it finally arrived and it's a little bit beat up, but it's here and I thought let's open it and see what we got. This is an AGM deck. This is their, I think one of their newest deck. It's by the same person who did the Golden Cat Tarot. So if you have that one um, or have seen it, it's the same artist and creator. I am very excited to have it. Um, I love her artwork. I didn't get the golden cat, which, you know, only because I've been trying to kind of keep myself from buying too many cat decks because I have a lot of freaking cat decks. Look at the little panda. And I have um, a lot of animal oracle decks and I need to stop buying those as well. So this might be the last one for a little while. But, <laughs> but since it's here, let's look at it. Okay. There's a booklet inside. Let's take a look. Let's see what's in this box. It's a little beat up, but it did come a long way. And like I said, it's been lost in the mail for quite some time. So, <laughs> so um, I'm surprised it's not more beat up than this. The package came all torn up. It was open and whatnot. Like it was a mess. Okay. All right. So let's see. All right. So we do have a little booklet. It's cute. Let's take a look. All right. We've got. They're in alphabetical order, and also we have a table of contents, the purpose. The oracle, the oracle was born from my unconditional love and admiration for animals. She put more than 200 animal names in a black bag with dried rose petals and other magical herbs. And from that bag, uh, with the help of the universe, has chosen 44 animal names, which now form this animal oracle. <laughs> she should have just did all she 200. She chosen all 200. I would have loved a 200-card deck. <laughs> Um, this is like, this is nice paper. It's, it's got a sheen to it, but it feels papery. So it's not the shiny magazine style gloss paper, but it's still has a nice sheen to it. So it's pretty interpretation of the cards. You recognize the strengths of the animals, learn the weaknesses, be prepared for the threats. And then how can you use this as an opportunity? How can the animal help you in your present situation? So it's strengths, opportunities, weaknesses, threats, and then the message. That's the layout. And there's an example reading. So for instance, if you pull the ladybird, it's a possible interpretation of the card. And then it just kind of gives you some information on what the reading could be. You can read that if you would like. Ladybirds or ladybugs, as we call them in America. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then it gets into the cards, and then in the back, okay, about the artist, that's the artist, and her information there, and then that, this one is the other deck that she has, the Golden Black Cat Tarot, also from AGM. Okay, so that's the book. Let's take a look at the cards. So these are the backs and they do have a, they're not reversible and they do have a, um, there's like her signature here and then also this copyright here. So that, if that bothers you, that could, you know, I think these backs are quite busy. I, they're not my favorite, gotta be honest. <laughs> I don't like it when the backs of the cards look like they could be the front of the cards. The cardstock is typical AGM cardstock. It did come with a bow. Often they do. I do find that with these AGM decks, if you once you work with them for a while, the bow generally comes out. Although this one is pretty bowed, so I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> um, but I have two or maybe two other decks from them, and the, the bow has come out with like shuffling. But this is pretty bowed. I don't know. We'll see. But they are cord. And this is like a semi-gloss um, matte. It's their typical cardstock. There's, it's their regular. If you have any other deck from AGM, it's their, their typical cardstock. It's a cardboardy with a semi-gloss. Um, yeah. So the size, this is a Hay House Oracle deck. You can see it's a little bit taller. Um, a little bit taller and a little bit wider. I would say they're probably about the size of like the Blue Angel cards. Here's a tarot card just for reference. Yeah. 
ici. All right. So let's look at the cards. Let's zoom in and take a look and see what we got. I think we're going to have some bugs. So if you don't like bugs, um, you might want to click away. Click away, look away. I'm going to try to go through them uh, without jumping because <laughs> I don't like bugs. Angelfish, therapy, art, spirit. And just right off the bat, B, sharing, reward, and work. I like those keywords. Beetle, paths, lesson, frequency. I like those keywords too for beetle because beetle is normally like a transition. So paths, lesson, I like that. Blue Jay, confidence, wisdom, potential. <laughs> Whose video was I watching that was saying Blue Jays are mean? Butterfly, transformation, awareness, and phases of life. Chicken, environment, fertility, observation. This is cute. I like that it's not just the animal, but we also have some sort of other uh, things in the image that could be good for intuitive hits. Success, teamwork, frequency. <laughs> Crocodile, journeys, productivity, ideas. I like it. Dog, loyalty, security, and unconditional love. How cute is he? Donkey? I'm not going to read them all. Donkey, control, determination, responsibility. Dragon, for protection, strength, and visualization. How cute is this dragon that goes into a cave, like turns into, a, morphs into a cave <laughs> or morphs from a cave, I don't know. <laughs> morphs out of a cave. <laughs> Elephant, this is pretty. Memory, lessons, intelligence. Yeah, I like the images. I like how it's not just an animal. Um, it's not just an animal. We have... The animal and then the imagery that kind of like surrounds or the animal or the animal kind of is like melting into the image imagery um and the imagery has some good like symbolism there or it's really just illustrating the keywords but i i like that it's illustrating the keywords health habits here you see he's eating his greens groundhog dreams messages healing Guinea pig, kindness, care, and past. So I feel like for each one, I'm getting from the picture at least two of the keywords. Um, so if you were the type of person who didn't want keywords, you could chop them off and still get the meanings right from the picture. I'm getting at least two from each image, it seems like. Um, Balance, luck, love. Yep. So I see balance because they're balancing on the leaves. I see luck from the four-leaf clover. I don't see the heart, which I, oh, well, I guess four-leaf clover leaves kind of do look like hearts for love. But. Lark. Vibration, joy, and care. That's a beautiful image. Leopard. Ooh. Energy, chakras, and femininity. I think it's so interesting that this is the femininity card <laughs> it's just different from what i normally would see i feel like i've seen in other decks a llama the kindness and gratitude but also worry interesting mole perception senses nature owl study wisdom knowledge <laughs> I like these little images. Cute. Panda, peace, balance, and retreat. Be foul. Universe, choice, laws of nature. 
wonder why they didn't use the peacock. <laughs> I guess she said she pulled them out of the hat, right? Or, you know, from the bag or wherever. Pelican, sacrifice, serving, care. Beautiful image of a pelican. Big, sensitivity, care, and nature. So now I've seen care twice. Okay, so we do have some repeat, repeating keywords. Um, porcupine, faith, protection, solution. Praying mantis, silence, consciousness, patience. Raven, shadow, awakening, supernatural. Seahorse, joy, self, strength, and self-love. Shark, agility, progress, movement. Spider, influence, evolution, creativity. Squirrel, thoughts, influence, magic. Cute. <laughs> Starfish, imagination, ritual, cleansing. Swallow, questions, new beginning, emotions. There's quite a few birds in here. Swan, love, beauty, intensity. I like the art style. I think it's going to go with a lot of my decks. Um, I like the way the animals have been illustrated. We don't just have animals here. We have animals and scenery and symbolism, which I enjoy. Um, turtle, home, body, energy. I appreciate the fact that even though there's a whole ton of insects and I'm not an insect person, they have tried to make the insects so that they're not so scary looking. So that makes me... I mean, I appreciate that. <laughs> Woodpecker, projects, determination, concentration. So this could be one if I had, if I did want to keep this deck. Um, I could have insect energy in my collection that I'm not going to be actually covering up with a sticker or just taking it out of the deck altogether. And that was the last one, zebra. Perspective, prejudice, experience. Okay, so let's go in my shuffle and pick one and read from the guidebook. Let's see how these are going to, I want to be able to shuffle them this way because they need to like, un... I'm trying to undo this bend in them. <laughs> so let's see. If I can get rid of it. My hands are so small <laughs> that it's hard for me to shuffle this way, but I want to try because they're bendy enough to do it. See, it's coming out. So yeah, I just have to, I'll keep trying <clears throat> with that. But for now, I'm just going to do it like this. So they move fine. This is, um, you know, general, typical AGM cardstock, which feels a little like Los Carabeo, but a little stiffer and a little more cardboardy, cardboardy than a Los Carabeo tuck box stack. Um, so, you know, they shuffle good, especially if you have large enough hands to be able to riffle them. They probably riffle really well. Here's your crocodile. Let's see what we have in the book. So they are in alphabetical order, so that was pretty easy to find. And so we have Crocodile. Journeys, productivity, idea. Strength, speed, efficiency, and outstanding senses. Opportunities, adventure, travel, and good ideas to acquire new skills. Weakness, not trustworthy, and worries too much. Threats, no one with whom to share experiences and adventures. The general message. Journey into the underground. Don't worry, you are safe. You will get the best ideas there. The ground is fertile. Stop, think, and make sure that you are productive enough to be successful with your projects. Oh, how cool is that? That is kind of fun. Um, it's, a, it's like a predictive deck. You could use it for clarifications, for daily polls, for um, pick a cards. This is fun. This is cute. I, I think it's going to be uh, interesting. I don't know if I'll keep it or not. We'll see because of the insects, but I do think it's nice and it's kind of different for an animal deck, especially in the way that it's 
illustrated. So it's helpful to me because like things like this, normally I would be like ready to run for the hills. I don't love this, but because of the way they've illustrated it, I'm not ready to throw it across the room. See, I don't like spiders at all. That is not cute to me, but I, but it's not terrible. You know what I mean? So I do appreciate that. And that way, if I did want to work with spider energy, I would have something you know, one deck that I could keep the spider in because every other deck I've, I've taken them out and this bee doesn't bother me at all. So I think that, you know, this is cute. I like it. I like the way the animals are illustrated. It's fun and different. It's pretty, it's cute, and it's going to go with a lot of decks. So that's that's how what I think about this one. Let me know what you think about it or if you have it in the description box below how you've been how it's been working for you how it's been reading for you because I haven't even used it I just opened it you saw me open it so um yeah and so that's it I just wanted to share this with you guys because I hadn't seen any um walkthroughs of it I've been looking for some and I was like if I get this I'm definitely going to do a walkthrough and I'm glad that I did because it it, it allowed me to slow down and kind of look at all of the images before I jump to conclusions about the insects and things but I caught it on sale on Amazon and I had to try it, um, especially since I had the free delivery because it was coming from England, you know, so that was good. All right. Anyway, so that is that. That's the lovely animals oracle. So if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. It helps my channel grow. If you want to see more from me, you can subscribe. I release videos every few days regarding tarot and oracle. And until I see you next time, stay safe and be blessed. Bye bye.